Hello, dear students. I hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well. As you are aware, I have been doing bi-weekly videos to your parents since we started our e-learning program. But today I thought it was appropriate to share with you some key pieces of information. It's difficult to imagine that we are actually completed week eight of our distance learning program. Teachers are reporting to me great things and how busy and extremely productive you have been, so well done. Today, the five pieces of information I would like to share with you include as follows. The results of the survey that you took and your views on the e-learning program. The attendance results, the student well-being program, the ADNOC STEM challenge for grades one to five, and finally, the term three final assessment. Let us start with the student survey results. The quality of distance learning 85% of the students rated the quality of distance learning between good and excellent, and a further 12.3% rated the provision as acceptable, giving us an overall total of 97.3 rating of acceptable to excellent. The quality of IT support, 85.6% of the students rated the quality as good to excellent, and a further 12.7 rated IT support as acceptable, giving us an overall total rating of 98.3 from acceptable to excellent. The study sessions, 90.7% of the students rated the quality of study sessions as good to excellent, and a further 7% rated the sessions as acceptable, giving us an overall total rating of 98.7% of acceptable to excellent. A very small minority of students rated us between say one and two percent had concerns and we've started following up on these already and I hope we can resolve their concerns. All feedback is hugely appreciated and valuable so I really want to thank you for this. And interestingly the overall recommendation across the middle school and high school was reduce homework. Now, you all know we've reduced it already, we've limited homework, but of course we will look at this again and see what we can do. Attendance results, likewise, we're very pleased. High school, you have averaged between 98.22 to 100% over the past few weeks and you are in the lead. You're followed closely by the elementary school in second position the elementary school average is 96%. Middle school, 92.34%. Kindergarten, very important, 84.62 for KG1 and KG2, 91%, giving an overall average of 87.8%. So remember, attendance and participation carries a greater weightage on your Term 3 reports. So please do make a concerted effort to improve attendance, albeit it's very, very good and I'm very pleased, but please, we can do even better. Something new we're introducing, student well-being. Well, your well-being has always been a priority in our school and it continues to remain so. But now more than ever, it is important that you feel safe when using the internet, that you know who to go to if you need advice or support and being able to talk about your problems and sharing your negative emotions with someone that you can trust can be profoundly helpful in reducing physical and emotional distress. So with this in mind, I'm really happy to tell you that we are developing a page on our website called Student Wellbeing, and it will be gradually populated with lots of information. So what can you find on this website page? Well. There's going to be a counsellor's corner. Dr. Marie and Miss Ola, the school counsellor, and Dr. Mahara from the Cambridge Centre will be our guest speaker. You and your parents can join the sessions on Microsoft Teams if interested, and they will be covering a range of topics to support you and your parents. The date and the time and further details to be confirmed. There will also be a welfare calendar. This will have 
lots of daily challenges, suggested workouts, such things as low impact aerobics, deep stretch yoga, with links to apps and videos. And of course, your contributions are always important to our school community, and I would love to hear from you because I would like to include a page entitled Top Tips for Effective Distance Learning. Students in all grades will be asked to create a self-care plan. It will allow you to time to think about what you want to do. You will be asked to identify people and activities that help you to feel better and stresses that might affect your well-being. So please watch this space. This is a further development of our well-being program in the school. Point number four. I mentioned STEM challenges. Well, Adnoc, that's Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, have introduced a STEM challenge for grades one to five. Now, at Wakaj, you've been involved in various STEM projects throughout the academic year, but this particular project, Adnoc has come up with a unique opportunity for students to stretch their minds whilst at home and have great fun through their STEM at home program. Now, it's a free online STEM enrichment program and it's for students aged 7 to 16. How will it work? Each week a new STEM challenge is released that can be completed using the resources that are easily available at home. And students will have to submit their projects online and ADNOC will give certificates in recognition of efforts. More details have been provided to the younger children through their teachers and via teams. So if you have younger siblings, please encourage them to participate in this challenge. My fifth and final point. You've been asking about the Term 3 assessments. Well, there's no final exams. Instead, you're already having review sessions in small groups scheduled during lesson time. And I've actually logged in and I have been following some of those. So for now, that will be your final Term 3 assessment. So, boys and girls, let us continue on this track, and I guarantee you that Ricard will remain in the top performing schools in the Northern Emirates. And I would like to thank you all individually and collectively for your continued attendance and particularly your responsible behaviour online. And I want to reassure you that your teachers are continuing to work hard to ensure that your learning journey will progress. And we are all committed to continue offering the best support that we can. Do please chat with me on Teams. Your parents are. I miss you all very much. And it is a great pleasure when I log into lessons to see how engaged you all are. So should you have any worries or concerns, I repeat, do get in touch with me, or talk to Dr. Marie, or talk to Miss Ola, the school counsellor. We are here to look after you. Keep safe and look after yourselves. Bye.